What up, tubers? Welcome back to another draft here on Arena. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash Numot for all your magic card needs. We got some more early access Outlaws of Thunder Junction. We are going to jump right into our pack where we've opened a Torpor Orb reprint in our whatever slot this is called. Our regular rare is Duelist of the Mind. Two mana, star three, flying vigilance, power equal the number of cards you've drawn this turn. Whenever you commit a crime, you may draw a card. If you do discard this ability, triggers only once each turn. Nathan Stoyer, there. Duelist of the Mind. We opened an Ariette the Beguiler as well. 4-4 four, four lifelink. Whenever an aura you control becomes attached to a non-land permanent opponent controls mana value less than or equal to that aura's mana value, gain control of that permanent. Interesting. Repulse. One mana, 2-2. Two, two. Armadillo's really, really good. Early game land fixing life gain and reach ward. Um, kind of just like taking the armadillo, honestly. Those rares are whatever. I mean, yeah, I don't think those rares were all that amazing or limited. Six mana, four, seven. Whenever it attacks while saddled, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each other creature you control. You gain one life for each of those creatures. Wow, that is very strong. Saddle two. Shepherd of the Clouds, five mana, four, three, flying vigilance. Enters the battlefield, turn to permanent with mana, if you to the hand. Return that card to the battlefield if you control a mount. That's good. Surveil three if you have no cards in hand, then draw three cards. That card's quite nice. Pot is also awesome. Savage Smash is good. Holy Cow is solid. Giant Beaver. <laughs> Lots of good value cards here. This might be too expensive, though. That ability is really strong, but... I mean, I think low-to-the-ground decks are probably the way to be for the beginning of a format. I guess I'm just going to take the Savage Smash because I couldn't choose something in time. What is this? Lila, Undefeated Slick Shot. 3 3 Prowess for 3. Whenever you cast a multicolored instant or sorcery from your hand, exile that spell instead of putting it into your graveyard as it resolves. If you do, it becomes plotted. Holy smokes, that is extremely strong. But it has to be a multicolored card, so I guess that has less utility and there's a full steam ahead until end of turn each creature you control gets plus two plus so okay so this is kind of like a overrun all of these plot creatures are so good this is a three mana three three or you plot it and then you play it as a five five later on could just take the hard bristle bandit here this is another really solid two drop in green i'm just gonna stick with green for now because i don't know what i'm doing and it's just much easier to like latch onto something um this card has been really good. I played one draft so far before this, and the red-black crime deck, uh, deck can really do some cool stuff. So as long as it's your turn, uh, Outlaws, you control a first strike. Whenever you commit a crime, you get to make a 1-1 Mercenary that has the pump ability. Really cool. The Archway does what? Enders tapped, enters, return a land you control those owner's hand. If another desert was returned, surveil one, and then it adds two mana? Okay. That's just a free roll in a lot of decks. I mean, it's colorless, sure. But, um... It seems pretty solid, honestly. Rakdos joins up. What is Thunder Salvo? X damage target creature, where X is 2, plus the number of other spells you've cast this turn. So it's really nice for plotting, or just a bunch of cheap spells in your deck. Don't really care for cheap shot. It's an expensive removal spell, but... If you can get both value out of it, it's kind of nice. This town ain't big enough as a double bounce is really cool. And it costs two mana if you do it to something you control as well. Vile Smasher Gleeful Grenadier. 3-2 two for two. Whenever another outlaw enters the battlefield, deals one damage to target opponent. It's not terrible. I think Silver Deputy might be pretty good as well. Two mana, one, two. ETB can search for a land and put it on top, and then it also pumps later on. Thornado also seems good because it has cycling. Just kill a flyer or cycle it if you don't need it. Here's one of these spree cards. That's funny. Exchange control of two enchantments, artifacts, or creatures. So four mana for a swap on a creature. Let's take the deputy here. 
Return target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Return target mount or vehicle from your graveyard to the battlefield. Return target aura or equipment from your graveyard to the battlefield. It seems medium at best. People have been playing this against me. I don't think it's very good. It does have flash, but... I don't really like those type of tricks that can get blown out. I'd ru rather run the plus one plus one first strike card, I think. Let's see, Oasis Gardener, ETB gain two, and then it taps for one mana of any color. Three mana, two, four defender that can sack a land, draw a card, make a treasure. This card's kind of neat. Probably not what we want to be doing here. Make an XX green elemental where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. I actually kind of like that card, even though it's, again, a little bit weird. All right, Ariette coming back around. Let's take the land here. Because even off-color lands have utility, right, if you have enough crime cards, which I don't think we have too many right now, just the bandit, but it's good value. Seems fine. Not that I've played many games of this format, but so far it's been pretty enjoyable. Now, that's generally the case early on, but hopefully this is one of those uh, Dave Humphrey sets that uh, just lasts the test of time. Mirage Mesa for some more fixing. Are we playing any of these cards? Probably not. Okay. This is a really nice one. A lot of these, like, creatures obviously just getting creeped, right? This used to be like a 4-mana 1-1 one, one flyer or something with the same ability, basically, but no lifelink. Then it was like a 4-mana 2-1 that did the thing. Now it's a 4-mana 2-2 two, two flying lifelink that's, that does the thing. I guess I'll take the trick shot, but I don't know if I'm going to play it, and I don't think I want reach for this guy. Oltec Matter Weaver, 3 mana, 2, 4. Whenever you cast a creature spell, choose one. You make a 1 1 gnome, or you create a token that's a copy of target artifact. That card's really good, but what is this? <laughs> Gold Vein Hydra, Green X, Vigilance Trample Haste, enters with X counters on it. When it dies, you make a number of tap treasure equal to its power. What? Well, that is kind of great. Oh, here's the fun one, Memory Vessel. This is the Memory Jar. Obviously not going to be taking that. What is Annie joins up? ETB, 5 damage target creature, planes walking upon controls. If a triggered ability of a legendary creature you control triggers, that ability triggers an additional time. So it's a hard to cast removal spell that doesn't do anything if you do not have legendaries. 3 mana, 3-3, three, three. enters the battlefield if you control a creature with power 4 or greater, draw a card, and it plots for 2, that's really solid. Oh, Hearse is in this, red-green land, we'll take the Outcaster. This one's also really good, played against this uh, when Graham had it in our matches. 2 mana, 2-2, two, two reach, that taps for a green, or it adds 2 of any one color, and that can be used only for mounts or vehicles, it's great. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, you make a 1-1 one, one Mercenary, and it's got Plot. It's a pretty cool build around. Oh, Skewer the Critics is just good. And what is this? 3 mana, 1-2. ETB, search your library for a basic or desert, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle, gets plus one. That's also very good. Wow. I mean, you need to have some deserts, but... I think I like the 2-drop there instead. Prickly pairs a three mana two two that makes the one one with the ability that's good. Cunning coyote two two haste enters the battlefield. Another target creature you control gets plus one plus one against haste until end of turn. I think we just want another outcaster though, don't we? What is this rush of dread? Target opponent sacrifices half the creatures they control rounded up. Target opponent discards half the cards in their hand rounded up. Target opponent loses. <laughs> what? Wow. 
That seems really decent, generally. Four mana to make your opponent sacrifice half the creatures they control rounded up. Loot! The beginning of your upkeep, exile the top X cards, where X is the number of cards among other non-land permanents you control. You may play those cards this turn. What is Miriam? Oh, that's, that's a good vehicle card. We could probably splash loot if we wanted to. Try it. Why not? Got a couple pieces of fixing already. We're probably not going to run this archway now, though, running three colors. So Deputy is fixing... Um, Bandits fixing. We have Mirage Mesa and the Eroded Canyon already, too. Oh, and the uh, Armadillo fixes. Oh, our deck's looking pretty cool, I think. Yeah. This is looking pretty cool. Guy Red, Mirror of the Wilds. 3-3 three, three, Haste for 3. Non-token creatures you control have create a token that's a copy of target token you control that enter the battlefield this turn. I don't think we have many tokens. I think this beaver is actually just perfect for our four mana our four power matters cards, right? Yeah, we don't have that many tokens. We have a couple. Two two vigilance that can destroy an artifact or enchantment. That's good. These type of cards are always solid and limited. There's always something to kill with it. And even as just a 2-2 two, two for 2, right? It's like, okay. Okay, Lush Oasis. Wow, another nice, nice blue-green pickup this time. This is a plant rogue. Whenever you cast your first spell each turn, add two red. If a triggered ability of a legendary creature you control triggers, I mean, that works with loot. I don't think we want it, though. Okay, another giant beaver is good. 4-4 four, four Vigilance for 4. Whenever it attacks while saddled, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature that saddled it this turn. Copy target instant or sorcery. Uh, I bet you this card is actually really solid. Like, you copy your opponent's removal spell, and then you change the target of their original removal spell. Like a three for one. Best case scenario. Of course, another beaver. And pack three. We open Slick Shot Show Off. Two mana, one two, flying haste. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, it gets plus, o plus, or plus two plus O until end of turn. That is a constructed card, not a limited card so much. Tally Joaquin. Whenever a source you control this non-combat damage to a creature equal to that creature's toughness, draw a card. Oh, that doesn't look very good. We have another Outcaster, but I think instead I'd rather have another Bandit. I think that's what we want, another Bandit for the... Turn two ramps. 5-4 trample for five with affinity for outlaws. 3-3 three, three for three. Whenever it attacks while saddled, it gets plus one, plus two until end of turn. Then you may return any number of target creatures that saddled this turn to their owner's hand. Two mana, 2-2. Two, two. When it becomes saddled for the first time, mill two. Then it gets plus X, plus X, where X is the number of creatures in your graveyard. So this is for the green-black deck. Back for more... 
Um, I think we just want the punch here. Mercenary pirate, assassin, mercenary, pirate, rogue, warlock. Assassin, mercenary, pirate, rogue, warlock. We have like five or six. We don't have that many. Just create a treasure until end of turn. Up to one target creature gets plus two, plus two for each treasure you control. It's not a bad trick. Two damage to each non-outlaw creature or two damage to each outlaw or both is okay. Another thunderous salvo is decent. This is a really good common though, the Spinewoods Paladin, right? I don't want to just take one of those. I think I like doing that. Villainous Wealth. Oh, man. If this was pack one, we would take that for sure, but... I mean, we are planning on playing blue-green, but... Probably just want to take the conduit here, right? Yeah, that seems better to me. Archmage's Charms in this too? There are a lot of weird cards on the special bonus sheet, but Cactus Folk Sure Shot's really good. 4 mana, 4-4 four, four, Reach Ward 2. Gives other creatures with power 4 or greater Trample and Haste at the beginning of your combat. I think this deck is good. I could probably use one more removal spell or one more trick. We have a lot of big creatures here. So generally this is just going to reveal like one card, right? Because it's usually just going to hit off of creature. But I guess we do have a potential artifact that it can trigger off of two. Nice red-green land there over, what is this? 2-2 two, two rogue that can rummage when it enters. 3 mana, 1-4 flying leaf, uh, lifelink. Whenever it attacks while saddle gets plus X plus X, X, the number of mounts you control. So it triggers itself, so it can attack. Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. I don't even need a basic island here, do we? We have plenty of other fixing. Surgical extraction, that's funny. 4 mana, 4, 3. Whenever it attacks while saddled, it gets plus 1, plus 2, and gains menace. So it turns into a 5, 5 menace. Chrom, Violent, Cacophony. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, put a 1, 1 counter on Chrom and draw a card. Oh, it's pretty strong, too. Search your library for up to two basic lands and our desert from the battlefield. No, we don't want that. Let's we'll just take another fixer here. Um, I might even play the Chrom. Bucolic Ranch. How many mounts do we have? Three. So otherwise it's just like a... Colorless desert that surveils. I don't think we want that thing. The possum wield. You know, with two, like, I can run 16 lands here. Even though we have some more expensive cards, we have two bandits, we have two deputies, I have, like, the armadillo. I think running 16 lands is totally viable. I kind of want to try this return the favor card instead of this quick draw too. But maybe I should be running the combat trick. My deck is kind of just like creatures. But I think it's really good. I think this is a really solid red-green deck. So 16 lands. We don't need an island. Just cut one of the glint beavers or something. I think this looks real good. 6, 7, 8, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I think this deck is fantastic. All right, let's take this and run to round one of this Outlaws of Thunder Junction uh, draft. 
All right, here we are for round one. I guess Hedology, uh, Hedolog. <laughs> I'm Numat the MTG, and this is Hedolog. <laughs> this hand looks really good. Um, I do think I will start with some tap lands here. Turn one, two, two, that cannot block. Oh, that's pretty nice. I want to go grab a blue source. We didn't put a basic island in. So I just need to get one of the tapped blue sources. I want to grab red or green. So I'm not going to be doing anything next turn, though. Yeah, hopefully the hearse. Hopefully the opponent here can't do too much. King of your upkeep, exile the top X cards. All right. This is just a pump, right? Yeah. Another one mana 2 2. Those things can't block, and I'm not planning on blocking, so. They're going to kill my deputy, deny me, yeah. So now I don't have any value from the loot next turn. We're going to just die to one mana tutus. Not like this. This is based on the creatures it's eaten. No, the number of exiled cards, period. I think I'm gonna... No blocks here. If we draw a land, ne untapped land next turn, I can Crom plus Quick Draw. So loot down, I'm okay with that, because we didn't actually have any value to do with it right now. Mm. Okay. It ain't the best high drive ever seen, but this is still solid. 3 3 Vigilance Trample Haste that if it dies, hopefully makes three treasures for us. And most importantly, it does currently block the miners by itself. So we're hoping that they don't have the minus X minus X effects. Or exile. There's a four mana exile in black. This is dies, right? Yeah. Definitely blocking. I'm okay with them having a quick draw of their own or something. Now remember, if they commit a crime, they get to bring back the miner for a single black. 
Oh, okay. That's not too bad. They don't get back their creature this turn, and I now have access to a bunch of mana. I guess we're going to do this and draw a card, get a 1-1 one, one counter on Krom. If Krom lives, we're going to be in a solid spot, I think. Oh, I didn't even think about that, right? Exiling cards from your opponent's graveyard is committing a crime. That's super good with Miner. Sheesh. Come on, let me untap with Krom, please. If I get to untap with Return the Favor, I'm going to be pretty confident, but looks like they might have removal. Jeez, Collective Defiance. Ah... Oh, this gives plus one, plus one. Okay. We're holding. Wow, usually these type of red tricks give plus one, plus O. Oh, I'm glad I double checked. Land go. We have the trick shot to kill the... Uh, Purse. Okay, two, two, five, four, affinity for outlaws. Too bad they don't have a token creature I can kill with Trick Shot too. All right, I mean I still need to draw something here. Uh, X damage to target creature where X is two plus the number of other spells you've cast this turn. Wow, that's actually really nice with Return the Favor. Copying, remember, is not... Copying is not casting, though. So let's hold full priority here. Copy target instant. Change the target of target spell. I really with this single target, so... Copy target instant spell or sorcery spell. Yeah, so we have to target both of these at this thing. Oh, no we don't! It does count! Oh! Wait. Why did that count as four? Two plus the number of other spells you've cast this turn. Oh, I guess I messed up. Okay. Um, well, we can play this and plot and attack for five or four, rather. So I should have been able to kill that Forsaken Miner. Whoopsies. But we have lethal here anyways. Dude, Krom goes off. <laughs> Wait, so two damage to our creature. X is two plus the number of other... Oh, the copy count... Okay, that's what I messed up. The copy is counting the original plus the copy spell. Right. 
That's what I messed up. Okay. Wow, that was actually extremely good for us. Ah, nice. Take the first round there. Let's go off to the next. All right, let's go on to our next match. After a very close one. We'll be on the draw here with Silver Deputy to find us a green source. That's nice. We immediately draw a green source. We probably don't want to find one, though. Yeah, I guess we'll just play it out as a two drop that doesn't grab a land now. A little bit awkward, but it is what it is. The Matter Weaver, hey. That's a nice one. They're gonna start going super wide here. Whenever you cast a creature spell, they either get to make a 1 1 artifact gnome or make a token that's a copy of another artifact token they have, so. You'll notice that they have a new uh, symbol for reach. I'm still going to get got by hidden reach, I'm sure, but as you can see on the stable master there, um, that's the reach symbol. All right, the irascible wolverine plotted. Do I want to just plot my Paladin, or do I want to play out a Beaver this turn? Playing out the Paladin this turn seems totally fine. Mystical Tether, as long as Tumor enters the battlefield, exile target creature. Okay, so they get to exile my Paladin. It's kind of annoying. Nurturing Pixie, make a 1-1, one, one, and they can bounce like their Wolverine for more value. Nice. Let's get a surveil. That's probably worthwhile. Uh, let's go beaver, pump it up, and then make another 5-5. Five, five. Two mana 5-5 five, five seems okay. Five for Trampler. This is worth make our sure shot a five five. I don't think I'm going to salvo here for three on anything. Oh, I guess I should have used the Silver Deputy on one of my creatures and maybe push in an extra point of damage. This is sorcery speed only, right? Yeah.
Alright, say go. Black source acquired. That's probably not great. Jasper. Flint. Creatures you control but don't own are mercenaries in addition to other types. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top X of target opponent's library, where X is the number of outlaws you control. And they can cast those spells. Jeez. They have two. I'm going to get rid of my 5-5 five, five token now. So I need to draw a spell so I can salvo the laughing Jasper Flint. I guess I trade here. Actually, shoot, if I trade and then draw a 5 drop, I get punished. Do I actually need to just take this hit? How many 5 drops do I have? Was it just the, uh, just the one that's exiled? I think I'm going to take it for now. Alright. Four drop was good. Salvo for three. I guess there was no need for me to salvo before attacking. Well, no, I shouldn't have salvoed before attacking. That was bad. Yeah, that was really bad. There was no reason for me to do that. I mean, we were going to kill it if they didn't block with it, but there was a small chance we could blow them out, you know? So they're just going to hard cast the Wolverine and try to hit something cheap. They did. They hit a Thunder Lasso. That taps a creature when it attacks. And it auto-equips. It's good value for them. a pretty good draw. Three mana, three, three draw card. And I can give it haste by doing this. Not bad. Fine with this. Yeah, that Matter Weaver has made five 1 1 tokens for them. Super gross. Okay, I think we just kill the bigger creature. Don't worry about the flyer. Both of our big creatures have reach, so seems fine. ETB, give your creatures plus one plus one in reach until end of turn. Oh, hidden reach here. I think they don't remember that the cactus has reach too. Yeah, they forgot. Alright, we're going to pass here and hold the bandit in case we draw, like, our Krom. I am starting to fall behind, though. 
they can equip the lasso, tap down my sure shot. Oh, man, that Matter Weaver has drawn them so many extra cards. Target creature can't block this turn. Yikes. It is also really bad for us. So they can tap a creature down, and they can make one unable to block. Huh. I guess the Sure Shot has Ward 2, so they can't do it this turn, but... Brutal. I double block here? I think I don't. I think I just have to take it for now and hope to draw something. Yeah, really, we just got soloed by the three drop. That ain't it. Oh, gross. That was probably the turn we needed to find something. Yeah, they must have a trick in their hand if they're only attacking like this. Can I beat a trick, though? Not really. Two, two, that can tap a non-mount creature. Ah, that'll do it. Yeah. They played a turn three Matter Weaver, and we never killed it, and I think they made eight or nine tokens off of it. <laughs> uh, good beats. We got a rematch because nobody is drafting as well. All right, well, let's just do better this time. Give them the old hello this time. Our hand is really good here. Turn one, lackey. One, two, haste, first strike. Funny, I can actually play a 4-drop here with the Eroded Canyon plus the Bandit. If we wanted. Um, I guess it's better just to go like this, though. We don't need that extra mana right now. <laughs> Ward 1 here, probably good enough. I mean, they might be able to kill my bandit this turn. I guess they only need like a 2 mana burn spell. I'm not blocking the lackey. Jeez. Okay, we hit a two-mana play, huh? We do want to cast that because it is an artifact for uh, loot. Bonded Outcaster, don't think we want that. Turn three, five, four trample, kind of, kind of gross. I won't block that. I'm okay going to ten. Rodeo Pyromancer. Right, we got two cards. Hey, that's pretty good. Take this 
a 5-5. Five, five. If they want to double block with Rodeo plus a key keeper, I'm okay with that. Alright, Wolverine maybe in the tap down with the key keeper. I don't know, maybe the Hydro is a little bit too aggressive. Maybe I should have played Trick Shot. Okay, I get it. You're hovering. You're hovering. <laughs> I wonder if they just pass turn here instead and tap my creature at end of turn. It's a nice hit. Oh, so is that. They're going to tap down my Hydra, that's fine. <laughs> and they finally have decided to finish off loot. Yeah, loot's great. But we all know loot is great. That should come to no surprise, of course. And now they are tapped out of Key Keeper for the turn. No, okay. So they're going to probably just pass here and hope to Key Keeper. If I draw an untapped land, we can go double removal spell. And they've even made a token for me to two kill with the uh, trick shot. Oh. Um... What if instead I block with my two two twos? And if they want to use a trick, that's fine. Oh, even better. Okay. Sweet. Let's go to combat. They're going to tap down the Hydra. I think we do want to attack here. We didn't want to Savage Smash because they would have tapped whatever I used Savage Smash with. So I'm going to have 14 points of potential trample damage next turn. Pretty good. Because 10 off of the creatures themselves, 2 off the smash. What the hell is this? What the hell to pay? X damage target creature, create a tapped treasure equal to the number of excess damage. Oh. Alright, so we don't have nearly as much trample, but we still have a lot. Let's see. I mean, this is still kind of GG, right? Two, three, four, five, six. Two, 
two, four. Yeah. I wouldn't quite kill them if I attacked with the bandit. We'd put them to one. And actually, you know what? It's probably better not to play out the armadillo in case they have like the uh, steal a creature effect because we're just going to kill him with the land next turn anyways and I can gain three life with this by discarding it. So nice. All right. Well, we evened it up. Maybe we'll queue into them one more time uh, and get a best of three. Two and one now though. We didn't get a mirror match or a rematch, but we're playing against LSV with a very bad hand. We needed a green source really bad there. This one's pretty good, pitching the favor. I'll lead with the tap land and then we can surveil next turn. Um... I guess I will just play another tap land this turn, actually. It is plot of the Dust Animus. That's one of the most absurd cards in the format. <sighs> two mana, two, three flyer, or plot for two, and then if you have five or more untapped lands, it enters with two 1-1 one -one counters and a lifelink counter. Jeez Louise, dude. And this casts any instant or sorcery. So I want to put pressure on. I wonder if I should just cast a 4-4 four four here and smack. Or I can get the beaver online and attack for two. Seems fine. Dang it. Cost two less if you committed a crime this turn. Pretty gross. Well, this has vigilance though, so he can't lullaby it. Um, so I guess we just attack for four. Here comes the four five life link. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> is casually gonna pass with infinite mana open? Or is he gonna do the draw card effect? Ay, ay, ay. This has to be one of the best rares. It's good on turn two and it's good on turn five or whatever. And it's kind of insane on turn five. Beginning of your end step, if you haven't cast a spell from your hand, draw a card, then discard a card. Oh my god, that was perfect. Another lock picker, huh? Ok, 
Okay. <sighs> Again, I'm not attacking with our 4-4 four four here. So that we don't run into the tap, kill a creature effect. Turn over the three regret your hammer to that benefit if you control a mount. That is not a mount. Okay, and he's just gonna get a blocker online. Got vigilance as well. Probably want to wait at least one turn on that, though. Okay. Say go. He's gonna plot. Oh wait. Oh, because he has five other lands that are untapped. All oh, right. Jeez. That card is so good. What the heck? Oh no, what kind of trick do I have to hit? Wait. Archive trap? Archive trap with lock picker? <laughs> what? He needs a land? Oh no, he doesn't need a land, it's zero to cast. What is going on? Jesus. No. Luck, skill, victory, they say. My god. Oh my god, how insane would have Return the Favor been on that thing? What is happening? We got memed out. He played a freaking... Dust, whatever it's called, Insano, two mana bomb, and then I get archive trapped. Dude, if we had had that spell in our hand, we would have copied it and redirected his to himself. <laughs> All right, two and two. Okay, LSV into Reed Duke. Can we beat the Duke? Our hand is solid. We have a turn two bandit or a cycle of the uh, armadillo here. Leave it to Reed to be on black green to start. Black green is a really strong self mill theme. Uh, I, I don't, I haven't drafted it, but from what I've seen during the draft, oh, this card is so stupid. 2-2 two, two for 2, whenever it attacks, reveal the top card of your library, put it in your hand. So it bobs, or if you saddled it, the opponent loses that much life. It is so sick. That's just, oh, yeah, I mean. Disgusting, man. Wow. Into a 2-2 two, two that mills 2. Okay, well, let's see here. Yeah, we just need to kill that. So we go like this, and that's going to untap our bandit. Red, we can plot our outcaster. It would be really good if we hit an untapped land next turn to go... Paladin into Outcaster.
Please don't kill my bandit. No skullduggeries, please. Ah, the beave. Yeah, beaver's good. Didn't hit the land. Okay. Mm. That is pretty unfortunate. Um... Do I want to cycle the armadillo and then play out the stable master? I guess I'm just going to plot our paladin and pass now. Might take a bit of damage here. But next turn we can go 5-4 trample, gain 3 into 3-3, three, three, draw a card. This is what, saddle three. And then hopefully we can start using our removal spells and clearing out a bit, stabilizing. All right, returns the hound. <sighs> Saddles, pumps it, I take six, he gains two. That's another good draw, too. Um, I guess I'll keep that because we can cast the Armodillo off that. I like just playing it safe and killing the beaver and the bronco, though. Actually, I'm not going to kill the Bronco. We'll wait a turn. We can save the Savage Smash for uh, a turn where we're going to actually um, attack for damage, I think. And like, even if he kills the Paladin, the Outcaster can still trade with the Bronco, which I think I'm alright with. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should have just killed it. I think that could have gone either way. Okay. On well, the reverse. Ooh, now double blocking it's a little bit scary. Hmm. You could also pump it up with the uh, mercenary itself. Hit a land. Yeah, I mean, I guess I make the block and force out some kind of removal or trick. If nothing, that's really good. Okay. Enters the battlefield. If a creature died, you make it 2 2. Solid. Sure. Alright, 7 7 reach ward 3. It's 
another different token that we can kill. Ward 3 is real good. There is that 4 mana black exile effect. What is this? Destroy a creature or extra make a 1-1. One, one. Bah! Gross. Take 7 here. Go to 5. Trick shot can kill both of those. I guess we go like this. We add red. Trick shot. Untap and play deputy. Don't search for a land. Alright, stable. Uh, the savage punch though. Could have used it earlier and now maybe getting a little bit punished. Hair is solid. This gets trample. Or gives other creatures trample. Or everything trample if it's saddled. I don't think we use the punch though. Two, three, or sorry, it's a one, two for three that searches for a basic or a desert, puts it in your hand, and it gets plus one, plus one for each desert you control. So it's going to be a three, four once he plays the gulch. Yikes, okay. So I think I'm just supposed to block with the... Like this and take trample and that way I can punch this so I'm gonna take three go to this is no I would take two go to three yeah because I need to keep the prickly pear to savage punch the green blade I guess I could have attacked for... Oh, no, no. We didn't want to attack with the bandit. I could have saved one more mana, though. What the heck is this? Whenever another non-token creature in opponent controls dies, you may pay one. You return that card to the battlefield tapped under its owners... Under your control. Jeez Louise. Oh, wait. Oh, it just turns into a treasure. Never mind. Okay, that's fine. We need to save the quick draw for killing the Vraska with the prickly. This smells fishy, I'm sure, but I think I need to go for the value. And if he drew a removal spell, good beats. Like if we draw a big creature next turn, we get the value out, you know? Not draw the big creature. <laughs> oh, borrowed time is what we're living on. At least that's how it feels. What is this? It's going to turn into a 5-5? Five, five? Sick. Okay, well, probably gotta play 
Oh, damn it. And he found an outcaster too? No! <laughs> this is the end, friends. This is the end. Come on, big creature. Oh god, are we dead? Well, I have to. Don't get to draw a card, but... So, if he has nothing, we're not in the worst possible scenario. We put the two three threes on the commando and the prickly on the outcaster. Or is it better to trade? I guess it's probably better to trade. Can't beat anything, obviously. I need a top deck, so. And that'll do it. GG's. Ah! Hmm. So close yet so far. Is that three losses now? Damn, I thought our deck was pretty good too, but well, that's the that's magic, baby. So cool deck, some cool losses, but uh, we'll just have to get them next time, I guess. No feel bads losing to Reed Duke and uh, LSV, but it does feel bad. Let's tell you. All right, we'll be right, bring it back tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.